How long have you been in the industry for? 10 years now. And how did the idea of raw mango come about? I think it was to thinking of uh, what is my contribution of, uh, in terms of design to my country and also how it's been aesthetic is perceived in the South is this whole reason. So, so the whole idea was that what does really tradition meant to us and before 70 years we all just got over the colonial period and what is the next step uh, for aesthetic, culture, fashion, identity and kind of those kind of things I thought the tradition to me is like a flowing river and uh, uh, I don't think it's in a past or it's a burden, it's, it's, it's a future and that's how do I make it in a more in a context for today's youth. What is your interpretation of tradition? As, as I said, fashion given individuality and tradition is kind of a communication, is amalgamation of many things, right. whether culture, religion, politics, identity. Um, also, what is the difference between raw mango and Sanjay Gag? Well, raw mango uh, has been making handloom textile, unstitched garments, and Sanjay Gag has been dealing with the stitch garment. What brings you to Sri Lanka? What brings me to Sri Lanka? <laughs> Everything here. Yeah. I think I'm very influenced by the way A, the country works. Mm -hmm. I think it's a role model for India in many which ways. That's A, B, there are a lot of people still wear sari. And C, the third is an architect. I'm, it's, uh, it's, uh, I would love to see them. What <coughs> fabrics do you prefer to work with? Fabrics, uh, um, they're all kind. We've been working with pure cotton, silk cotton and pure silk. And what is it about hand-woven textiles that appeal to you? The uniqueness of it, the skill set of it. Uh, if you make a knit fabric, if everyone wears the same thing, you become like a uniform. Mm -hmm. So it's like you only decide to eat bread every yeah. single time. It's kind of saying that. I think the handloom gives you that where you come from the sense of individuality I said. And, that's, and, and as I said, in handloom is not one handloom. Handloom could be thousand kind of type and, and made out of different kind of texture and, and content and the motifs, mm -hmm. the way they drape it. <coughs> it's so symbolic, so handloom is made up or influenced by many of other things. And can you tell our viewers about the collection that you have brought to Sri Lanka? Well, I got a uh, lot of chanderis which is opt for the weather and few of them are from the Heer collection also which is the most recent collection. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of uh, Bengal uh, cotton as well which is absolutely fine and actually okay to work 24-7. So, right. so there are cottons, there are from midnight as well, which is organja printed sari, and we have few silks and silk cottons. And how would you describe the raw mango woman? I think raw mango is woman is today's woman in a way that uh, she's a great combination of past and you know, future, and she doesn't really follow a trend, and she thinks that changing the world, and actually she does change the world. Mm. Meaning she take her she she sort of she take her own decisions and. And she's not really had to do things because they look cool for sake of looking cool. Mm -hmm. And how did your work come to be featured at the VNA in London? Well, uh, they were doing an exhibition called Fabric of India. They visited my store in Delhi, and that's how they saw the pieces which mm -hmm. they wanted to show. They have five of them now. Okay. I think they showed one at that time. Who are the celebrities that wear your clothes? Deepika, Tishabana, Kiran Rao, Rani Mukherjee, Katrina. Now there are a lot. The Sara Khan to Karina, Karishma, Dividya. So when you see them wearing your clothes, what is the first thought that comes to your mind? You shouldn't bother what they wear. You shouldn't bother. Don't okay. follow them. Right. And what piece of style advice can you give our viewers? I don't believe in style, trend and and any Bollywood celebrity following up. I really think you should need to look at your comfort and where you come from, the sense of yourself. And I think style need to come in from within. And I really think that fashion need to evolve in that particular way. And what is the allure <coughs> of the brand you have created? I would really like them to answer that for my brand rather than I say that what tracks to them, you know. Mm -hmm. I think people see differently. Some think there is a combination, they're very modern and contemporary. Some see a piece of uh, beautiful heritage and they keep it for the next generation. Some see a wedding attire, mm -hmm. some see a set of skill set and some want mm -hmm. to just keep it because a beautiful piece of textile. Right. I think people look at different way. Mm -hmm. And some see um, a garment for all and some see it's too young. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So there are many interpretation if I see or if I hear what the client says. Being in <coughs> Sri Lanka for uh, maybe a day or two, what, what have you gleaned about the fashion scene here? I definitely see less of sari. 
Mm -hmm. And I question what happened that for them to convince not to mm -hmm. wear it their mm -hmm. own garments. Uh, the form could be different, the textile could be from here, but I definitely miss that. So even on the road, I travel down south, down mm -hmm. up north also, I didn't see much of sari. And when the aesthetics and all so beautiful in terms of architect and, mm -hmm. you know, nature. and nature and everything. But yeah, textile, I'm still looking for that Lankan textile. And any plans to come back? Always. Excellent. Very soon. Thank you. Thank you.